In this problem, we're asked to solve the equation x times the quantity x plus 2 equals 48. Unfortunately, it doesn't say solve this linear equation or this quadratic equation. It just says solve. So you have to decide what type of equation you have, and that will help you figure out how to solve the equation. Well, in looking at this equation, a lot of students kind of think, oh, the left-hand side is already factored for me. So all I'm going to do is set each of those factors equal to 48. Now, is that true? If two numbers multiply to 48, does one of them have to be 48? No. That only works is if this number here happens to be zero because it's called the zero product property. Two numbers multiply to, with each other to give zero, you know at least one of them has to be zero. So the first thing we're going to have to do in this problem is distribute the x into this parentheses. So x times x gives me x squared. x times 2 gives me plus 2x equals 48. Now, looking at this problem, we know it is a quadratic equation. It's degree 2. One method of solving a quadratic equation is by factoring. So let's look at our steps for solving a quadratic equation by factoring. The first thing, we must write it in standard form. Here's our original equation. This is what we obtained when we distributed the x in. Is this in standard form? Standard form means I must have 0 on one side. Do I have 0 on one side? No. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is subtract 48 from both sides. That will give me my 0 on the right-hand side. And I'm going to get x squared plus 2x minus 48 equals 0. So now is it in standard form? Yes. So now I'm going to have to factor the left-hand side. And remember, we're going to do it by the AC method. A in this case is 1, B is positive 2, and C is negative 48. A times C is 1 times negative 48, which is negative 48. So I need two numbers that multiply to negative 48 and add up to 2. Hopefully these numbers come to you quickly, but if not, I'm just going to work through it systematically. I need two numbers that multiply to a negative. That means the signs are opposite, and add to a positive, the bigger one has to be positive. So I can start off initially with negative 1 times 48. Definitely multiply to negative 48, and negative 1 plus 48 is 47, way away from what I need. So what I'm going to do is pause it quickly and work out the rest of this table. So I worked on the table, I tried negative 2, 24, didn't work, negative 3, 16, didn't work, negative 4 and 12, didn't work. Finally, when I got to negative 6 and 8, that added up to the positive 2 I needed. So I'm ready to factor my trinomial now. And since the leading coefficient is 1, I don't have to write the middle term as two terms and factoring by grouping. Since a was 1, I know immediately that I'm going to have an x and an x, and my two factors are going to be x minus 6 and x plus 8 from these numbers over here. So I've factored it now, and now because I have 0 on one side, two numbers multiplied together equaling 0, you have to set each of them equal to 0. And then you're going to get two little linear equations that you're going to solve. So I'm going to add 6 to both sides here. So I get x equals 6 and subtract 8 from both sides here. 
x equals negative 8. So here are my two solutions to this equation. It's a quadrat. It started out as a quadratic equation. I don't have to check my answers. But if you do want to check your answers, you take x equals 6 and plug it back into the original equation. See if you land up with a true statement. Then you plug x equals negative 8 in and again see if you land up with a true statement.